Welcome to this brief video on the Tecla TED's Reinforced Concrete Pile Cap Design Calculation to ACI 318 Building Code. Before running any calculation within the library, always review the notes associated with it. These cover the scope, along with the general notes, assumptions, and limitations, references, and a revision history. Examples for a compression only, tension only, and non-standard pile arrangement are provided within the library. These can also be used as a starting point for your own designs. The input parameters include the calculation options, pile cap details, and loading that you wish to consider. Calculation options allows either an analysis only or an analysis and design to be performed. A preview of the analysis results are displayed below. If you want to make multiple changes to your analysis, you can temporarily disable the preview results. Additional information is available where you see an information symbol. The total cap depth, number of piles, and the pile material are specified. Additional windows allow further options to be specified. Access these options by clicking on the corresponding button. Cap details allows both the cap details and the column details to be specified. The column can be either steel or concrete and placed anywhere on the pile cap. A sketch displaying the chosen input is displayed to the left. Pile details allows you to further define the details for the chosen pile material, loads, and arrangement. You can define the number of piles and adjust the spacing. You can also modify individual pile locations if you wish. Checks are then automatically performed to validate the input values. The loading button allows you to define the axial, sure charge, shear, and moment loads on the column. The load combination button allows you to specify the service load combinations to be considered. A result preview is available for each separate load combination with the applied force and a utilization ratio overlaid on the sketch. The critical values can also be previewed. Since an analysis only was requested, you can now set the output options and write the calculations to the document. If the analysis only is unchecked, then an additional page is available to design the pile cap. Design details allows you to define your concrete design details. The selections itemized are those chosen by accessing the additional options via the buttons. Design options allow you to specify the design code and the load combination factors for strength design. Material details allows you to specify the cap, concrete, and reinforcement properties. Reinforcement details allows you to specify the X and Y direction reinforcement. If negative bending occurs in the pile cap, then top reinforcement will also appear. The area provided is compared against the required, and a pass-fail statement is displayed. Preview results for the design are shown below the input details with a utilization ratio and a pass-fail statement. You can use the list to cycle through the load combinations and critical values. A sketch showing the designed reinforcement is displayed to the left. The failure plane for the selected design check is drawn on the sketch. The plane is red if the sketch fails. If anything else fails, these can be previewed and amendments can be made to the input values as necessary. Once you're satisfied with the input and preview results, you can specify the output options, including the level of detail, selected results, inclusion of tables, sketches, and the pile reaction analysis. You can also amend the title and provide analysis and design notes. Here you can also preview the output if you'd like. Once you're happy, confirm the information and your design and the calculation output are written to the document. The calculation title, pile analysis summary, pile cap design summary, input details and sketches along with the design checks and output sketches are all laid out in a clear and concise format. 